welcome again to another episode of Faith and Home Buying. I'm super excited because I'm always equipping people of faith for the home buying process. And I have a special guest, not only a friend of mine, however, she's a Red Bow magic constituent, uh, but uh, she's a good friend of mine, Katrina. Um, can you say hi to the folks? Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> She's going to be coming on in a, in a quick second, and you know I'm 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 excited about this one because it's different when you are an agent and you represent your friends, even family uh, as well. And sometimes there's a delineation, like okay, why do I do it? Am I, am I super honest, or you know how do I act, um, and how do I still maintain a, a level of professionalism, uh, and then also you know trust uh, with people who you are familiar with. So we're going to talk about that, but we're also going to talk about too, um, just the process. I think stories are so well um, told and then people get so much more out of it when it's a real person talking about their real experiences, how they really felt um, on the home buying process and the challenges, shoot, because there's a lot of them, right? Um, so stay tuned for, for, for that because I, I think it's going to be really robust in what Katrina will share uh, and some insight and some hope, I think, that she'll be able to give some, some, some people. Um, but first, you know, kind of like how I like to do, and you know I like my TPT version, but um, I was able to do a devotional over, over, the, over the week, actually yesterday, yesterday, day before yesterday or so. And um, I really loved um, being able to um, just talk about, um, it was first Galatians um, 1 through 10. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but it's the last verse, uh, the, the 10th um, verse that to me really stuck out. And Paul, he just does an amazing job on when he, um, just in who he is, coming in with all of his, um, uh, his, his pain, his goodness, his flaws, and just really breaking it down to the most simplest form of, look, I just want to serve Christ. That's it. The message is not, it shouldn't be watered down. The message is simple. Christ crucified for our lives. That's why we're free. And I, 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 have, to, I have to point out this particular verse. And of course, the TPT version has it. It breaks it down even, even, even well, more well, I think, than all the other ones. But First um, Galatians 1.10, um, and this is after he's talking about, hey, you know what? Uh, let me make it clear. If anyone has preached this gospel, watered it down, did whatever, let them be condemned, cursed. And he came in hot with the Galatians and talking about um, this from the, the, the letter. But the last part is, I'm obviously not trying to flatter you. <laughs> or water down my message to be popular with men. But my supreme passion is to please God. For if all I attempt to do is please people, I would fail to be a true servant of Christ. That stood out to me. I mean, how simple, how much more plain can you get? You know, I, 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 I used to struggle in, in the beginning of my career. And you know, to make how how do you how do you how do you balance being you know in the world as a, as a, as a realtor and you know a business person and as a true you know follower of Christ, and I can never un undo the two. It would be so hard for me to undo the two, and I, I got to a point where I'm like, you know what, you know what, no, I know I have good news. And I know that there's people around me that are suffering, that are going through things, losing hope. And you know, it just so happens to be in my realm of real estate. And I'm not gonna water down what I have to say and, and how I have to say it for someone to have hope and so for someone to have, and, and I, I deal a lot of times with cult couples that have issues and problems and um, they just need, they need a word of wisdom. You know, they need God, they need Jesus. And um, I think for the last maybe five years of my of my, my my business, I've you know as the unction you know as the Holy Spirit um, uh, unctions, um, I'm able to really just talk just just bluntly and plainly about you know sometimes if it calls for you know me talking about Jesus, if it, if it calls for me talking about faith, hope, whatever it may be, um, to help in that situation aside even from real estate, I'm going to do that you know because this world needs it and it's hurting. And so, I don't know, I hope that's an encouragement for somebody that it doesn't even have to be that hard. It can be that simple. And a lot of times, again, even without us just preaching it, it's us walking it. It can be that simple. It can be someone as simple as someone looking at our life and saying, well, what's something different about you? What's that light? Yeah, you know what, you really wanna know? This is what it is. 
and you know it's it's open to anybody. Um, so I encourage you in your your walks of life inside your uh, your 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 times and, and other people that may not know Christ. Um, be open, be honest uh, about it, and you know even if they don't necessarily believe, hopefully they see something in you that will cause a change and spark a little bit of a change. Um, hopefully you are different uh, and you don't blend in that much, right? Um, so that being said, real estate. Friends, the hunt, the find, the end. Um, so Katrina, um, I really do love your just your your story. You know, just being able to be out with your your husband, your kids. You know, in some ways, and you know, on the home hunt. And I know that it wasn't an easy process, and it wasn't something where it's like, oh, found the home, dream home, thank you, right? Um, but explain why home ownership, at least for your family. And, you know, look, we, we're not spring chickens. I'm not a spring chicken, you know, yeah. um, was, 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 was important um, in this phase in time of your life. Yeah, I think that we, well, it's extremely important. It's something that we've been believing for, for a really long time. And I think that um, we had different starts to the journey, um, but we didn't totally know exactly how to do it. Um, and, you know, without bringing so much of the backstory, I think it's always been in our vision. We just didn't really know the steps to, to take immediately. And, you know, having you really in our corner changed the game for us because we had more, a lot of practical and faith, uh -huh. you know, filled steps that we needed to make that look different. I mean, you, you've explained to us quite a bit, but the, the market changes and it's not our expertise. You know, yeah. we just have a vision for something. So. I think that it's always been part of our vision. I think that, you know, our pastor um, really has clarified it for us too, that, that um, we're part of a larger vision. And we know that really just getting a home is just part of our journey so that we can continue to advance the kingdom. I mean, we're part of such a great community and, you know, what was on my list, which was, we want to be able to host people and build community here and and um, build great creative things. And so um, it was honestly, it's just, it's part of our larger vision of what we wanna accomplish in, um, in pursuing our purpose. So, um, but in that also, it's to not leave the Bay Area. I mean, I think that's yep. probably the mo one of the most specific things. <laughs> that was the things. Most biggest one of the biggest ones. Yeah, our family is here. Our church family is here. Our purpose is rooted here. And um, I think that a lot of times um, you could forget that, right? Like you could look for opportunity. Um, you, you definitely um, kind of pushed me to think about that of like, where's your purpose, right? And so, um, so that's why I think we wanted to kind of get a stake in the ground to make sure, okay, this is where we're going to continue to plant. So yeah. Anyway. Exactly. No, and you, you bring up um, obviously community and those yeah. that, are, that are listening right now, just kind of on that, hey, you know, do, do, do we want to, should we, should we go and do it? One of the biggest things that you should think about is your community, specifically your, your church community, because that was important, right? It, it was extremely important. Now, granted, we, 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 it's Vive Church, by the way, Vive Church, if you want to know about us, vivechurch.org, um, headed mm -hmm. by pastors um, Adam and Kira Smallcomb, mm -hmm. beautiful pastors. Matter of fact, it's, it's, it was his birthday week, so, you know, he's being celebrated. Birthday today, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, birthday birthday week. week, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> And um, I really do um, it just admire um, their 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 drive. They've been on the home journey hunt with me, and and God's done some amazing miracles. And it started from the head and right. ended um, all the way down. So you're in the slipstream of that miracle flow that's oh. been happening um, from that prophetic word of property of home ownership. Because you know we're tired of people leaving, <laughs> leaving the bay. You know, but but you you bring up a good point. You know. The, the what the why why do you want to even do this i think as a christian it's so much more than okay i want a house i just want a house and never had a house before mm, okay that's great but what are you going to use that for you know a lot of our stuff as a, as a christian and just a follower of christ it's intentional it's very intentional from community from hosting exactly the things that you kind of named that you wanted to do. It's so important um, to set yourself up and say, okay, God, this is the reason why it's not just for me, but it is for other things and other people. So I remain open to what places and, you know, 
situations that you would have for me. And I think that helped, um, although, you know, it, it was brought to you like, hey, well, you can have this all the way over here. And this is something too to talk to people about. Like, what was that thought? Like, gosh, we can have this all the way over here, but bay. Yeah, no, I think that was, that was huge. I mean, we did look at other opportunities. We looked at, I mean, the cost and we had to really weigh out what was the most important thing for us. But I think we had a vision for what it would look like when we lived in this home. And, and it always involved community. It always involved um, continuing to build with who we're around and, and that type of drive, <laughs> even just the commute and, and having to travel and all those things. So I think, I, I, the only specific thing I can think of is that we had conversations about what does it look like when we're settled in to this home? Mm -hmm. Who are we around? So yeah, I think that was, that was hugely important to us. Yeah, no, and it, it, it is something that I think every person should, um, should think about. And um, when we come back, because uh, it, you know, it was just wonderful episodes, just wrap up just like that, right? But when we come back, <laughs> um, I, I do want to dive into um, just your expectations, right? The expectations that someone has about home ownership, but then the reality of, oh, putting in offers, that type of experience, because that can burst your bubble really, really quickly. So we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about, again, um, just how important it is to have people in your corner that trust you and that are praying for you. Because I know that was a big um, part of um, you guys in your journey, that you had people, um, you would call up, hey, we're putting an offer, <laughs> pray for us. <laughs> But how important that is to have people in your corner, not everybody, because you got, you know, you got dream killers and you got dream, you know, stompers and stuff too. And the devil knows what he's doing when he gives out doubt and gives, um, drops those things inside your spirit and just kind of like, oh, well, just, well, no, the desire just kind of goes. So, but I do want to talk about that and pull that out, just expectations versus reality. Um, this is what I'm dreaming, but yet this is my reality. And how you how you marry the two? How how do you come to a consensus on what it is that you want to go forward with? So, to make it Ellsworth, faith in home buying, equipping people of faith for the home buying process. Stay tuned. All right, back again with special guest Katrina. Um, so Katrina, how was it? Because we had some really interesting um, <laughs> times in submitting offers. Just yeah. get a breakdown. Let someone know the realness of offers in this particular season. I, you know, I think that we went in with a certain perception and I think, <laughs> I think we thought, um, I think we had an idea of the way um, it was going to go. I don't know a better way to say that. Mm -hmm. I think that um, even though we were geared up to go through multiple offers and you did set us up with that, that clear expectation. I don't think we knew exactly what it was going to look like. You're really thorough with that, which was awesome. But, you know, you go through the process, you um, kind of try to get a vision for a home and then you walk in and you're like, this is exactly it. And then you put the offer together. Um, well, you, you know, you walk us through mm -hmm. that and then you make a decision on how much you're going to blah, 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 all that stuff. Yep. And then you put your heart into it and you put your prayers into it yep. and you decide to make a, a, a leap. And I, I think that, especially that very first one yep. was, was nerve wracking. I think uh -huh. we didn't sleep and um, you know, that's, I mean, that's it. And then you, you get the response that we didn't get it. And it was pretty, I mean, it's, you don't, you don't want to be heartbroken. And I think my husband and I, we, we kind of, we're, we're a little bit different in how we respond. You know, yeah. we have a little bit of like, I'm just like, oh, don't, let's just jump back into the game. And yeah. Tamika says, there's a little bit of numbers with this. So we're going to jump back in, yeah. but I'd be lying if I didn't say we went through a lot of disappointment and um, had to shift gears and realize that we've got to not just use faith, but get really practical about how we got to change our strategy and, and realize that there is strategy involved. And so there were, you know, whether it was like stretching um, that, that list and looking at, all right, what can we compromise on? Okay, we want this many rooms, we want this many, but if it's in this particular location, uh -huh. probably all the things that you already talk about with all your clients, but we just didn't we didn't know, you know, but getting more educated about it actually strengthened our prayers. Yeah. It strengthened um, our specificity of what we were looking for, but it, it strengthened our specificity of what we came to God for. So, um, yeah, 
<laughs> but you I think that's what it looked like for us. No, but you, you, you are absolutely right. And I think that's the realness of this. Like, yes, hope, faith, 100%, but there's strategy that yeah. goes along with this, you know, just like with anything, right? Intentional. Everything's intentional. Even what Jesus, every, everything is intentional. Yeah. Even in our life, we can look back and see even how, the, how we even got saved. I mean, everything is intentional that happens when the Holy Spirit sets certain things up. And a lot of it, you know, too, honestly, as an agent, I see it. I have to sometimes go through the process to set it up. And I think I have a meme on my my <laughs> on my on um, my Instagram account. That's Tamika Ellsworth, by the way, at Tamika Ellsworth. But yeah. the meme on my account is just like, hallelujah, when both, you know, husband and wife agree, you know, it's <laughs> yeah it's a praise party right because you know you you have to get on the same page you know you do, uh, yeah and, and, and it's just that biblical too right unless two um can be um agreed how can they walk together it's the very truth if one's wanting one thing and one's wanting another and they're not agreed it's going to be a hard road so a lot of it is strategy it's strategy on how you write the offer it's strategy mm -hmm. on you know if they're accepting letters it's a strategy on when you even um, submit the offer me talking with the agent finding out other information so that leads me to, you know, the one that we found, I mean, those that have been on my social media, you know, that, the, the, you know, the story, but it's so important um, on your reputation um, and yeah. it will precede you in, in everything. So as an agent, if you're listening to this, it's the very truth. You may want to hurt somebody out. You may want to act whatever way with somebody, but you probably shouldn't do that because your reputation will precede you. And in this case, it, it happened to actually precede me and the agent on the other end um, actually knew me and I didn't necessarily know him. He actually kind of knew LJ a little bit and knew who yeah. his favorite place was to eat. Don't even know how that necessarily came know about, that. <laughs> but it did, you yeah. know? But it's the little things like that, that ends up happening. And then as we keep going through, I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, guy, you're setting up the story here. Okay, I'm here for it. I see it. And that's really mm -hmm. kind of what happens. And then from there on, you know, even looking at things um, that the complex wasn't approved and Elvin, the us doing it. I mean, it was just, it's a great story and how it unfolded. And you can catch that story if you're on LinkedIn and if you're on um, you know, Instagram, you can kind of, you can catch those stories. Um, yeah. But that being said, you know, it, it, trust is a huge thing, right? Yeah. You know, I, I'm your friend. We've known each other for a while. We go to church together, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, and, it, 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 served together, our kids served, know each other. Yeah, did everything right. <laughs> yep, and yep. and and you know, it, it has to be like, okay, you know what, Tamika, I do trust you. And and how is that? Because a lot of times people with family members and stuff, they don't have a good experience. <laughs> yeah. No, Tamika, you know, it's funny. I think that the point you just made prior to asking this question is is goes hand in hand. I think that um we we trust your character. I think it's not even just a friendship thing. It's I know your character as a person. And so when we decided, well, we knew we knew that you were in our corner just as a friend, you know, and I already I knew that if you didn't want to work with us, you would have said so. <laughs> to be honest, because I know you as a friend. But I think that when we then kind of crossed the bridge and started to have meetings with you and and added client to the list of our relationship you know i think i think that um what we saw was you were you continue to be consistent you gave us really clear uh our conversations were clear you were thorough and we knew that we can continue to build trust in this way and i think that i remember having that revelation remember i, I said it to you like yeah. hey um i don't know why i don't know why I, i'm just impressed i'm not surprised I'm impressed that that you continue to have consistent character and then we saw it through every process part of the process you know I think that I think that that's why it it's um important I I don't know if that's unique with with you I'm assuming it is because I know you as a friend <laughs> right. but but um I just know your character and I think that that plays into why we trusted you so much but I think that why it helped us um was um I think specific with faith, like it, it meant that you were going to, you knew what our vision was. You might not know the specificity of it, but you prayed through multiple things outside of the home journey yep, with us. Right. And so you had um, our heart and mind. And I think 
I, I would like to assume it even probably challenged you in continuing to uphold integrity and character because it is how you are as a person, right. but you also know we know you um, on the other end of this. So, yeah. and it, you know, so I think yeah. it was, it wasn't a hard decision for us. I think that um, it could be for people, you know, and I think that um, looking at a person's character and trust is a huge thing, you know, in any, any type of business transaction that you're going right. into, right? Yeah. But, you, but, you, but you bring up an, a, a wonderful point. Again, you know, it is, you know, when, when you are out there looking for someone and like, a, you know, it's not, it doesn't have to be me, anyone that you want on your corner, um, on yeah. your team, your team is so important um, to have. I mean, at least someone that either meets or exceeds your faith level isn't necessary. You know, this, this, this market has been going crazy for since what, 2018, 2017 or so. So that's not nothing that's new. Granted, there are more buyers right now in this market, but it's just very, very important that you have someone that's on your team that can mm -hmm. advocate for you. You know, I, I, I do a lot with people that don't have 20% down plus, you know what I mean? Like don't have $300,000 just slap down on a home and, and be okay with it, right? So it, again, you have to have people that believe not only in your vision, but they have to believe in, in, in you as a, as, a, as a client and actually know right. that, what I want to do this because I, I want to see you um, in this. I want to see you succeed um, uh, in this. And it's, it's even more of a personal goal in order to make it happen because these are people that I know and that they deserve it for the amount of time and, and effort that they give to um, just servings and, and church. Just like, God, I want to make this happen and help me be a conduit of this, right? I just felt that it was absolutely important. So if anything, it raises the bar even more um, yeah. you know, as agents, like you do in representing your friends, family, church family at that too, you know, it, the bar should be raised even more. It shouldn't be so um, um, uh, familiar that you lose your professionalism on things, uh, but yeah. you should be honest and forthright in, in the things that you have to say straightforward. If it is what it is, if it's lost, this is why, this is how much information I can get from it. And that's that's it. Let's just keep moving on. You know, um, I, I think I th that I would just say it to me, I think one of the things that I can, I've told everybody when I recommend you is the investment you put in us. And I think that that's huge, right? Cause it's not about the transaction, right? right? I can tell through the entire process, you're actually invested in us achieving our vision and you make, you become part of it. <laughs> so I, that's why. Yeah. And, and then, um, uh, you know, so I, um, you know, in, in wrapping up, um, any Katrina-isms uh, for, <laughs> for a new person coming into this, um, this, this, this market um, and, and, and wanting to walk by faith from a real person that went through um, this process, any words? I think that my specific journey is probably, you know, is our first time buying a home as a married couple. And I, I, I guess the big nugget I would leave is, you know, don't wait too long to jump in that, especially if you're doing it with faith, there is a flow to this. I think it, I got a nudge from our, our lead pastor and said, he just said, get in the flow. And I think you can think about the process so largely and have a really big dream home in your vision, but sometimes it's just, you got to just get in and, and let the Holy spirit move with you. So, and I think there's so many components to this. It's that it's getting a great person in your corner, like you, Tamika. And um, I think great prayer, but most of all, just getting on the same page with whoever you're buying the home with, <laughs> but, but building, yeah. And building a vision about it and um, realizing uh, you just have to, we had so many conversations about what it should be and what it can be. And we decided, Oh, okay, well, this is, this is going to be, this is going to be what we start with. We're going to just jump in. And it was, honestly better than we could have expected so god is so good and and you you got to be ready for him to blow your mind when you jump in so i think that's probably what i would say to anybody i just jump in get in the flow that's awesome and you know what and get in the flow they they shall and hey look i would thank you so much um katrina for this time look those that are looking to get inside the flow you know you can contact me tamika ellsworth.com or 408-561-7922 that's 408-561-7922 thank you again this is tamika ellsworth faith and home buying and i'm equipping people of faith uh, for the home buying process thank you so much mm -hmm.